Okay, question five. An n by n matrix M represents an involution if M multiplied by itself gives the identity matrix. So if M times M equals I, we've got to show that each of the eigenvalues of, of such a matrix, M, are either plus one or minus one. So the eigenvalue equation would be like that, right? So we basically got to show that if you have this, then lambda, either lambda equals one or lambda equals minus one. So we can start by multiplying both sides of this by m. And then you'd have i v over here. And here you'd have lambda m v, right? So v would equal lambda times m v. Ah, but look, m v is just lambda v. So then you'd get lambda squared v. So you have v equals lambda squared v, so that means that either lambda squared equals 1, so lambda equals plus minus 1. Cool, that's going to be how the proof is going to work. Okay, so we are saying, this is question 5. So we're saying that mm equals i, and then we're saying we have, if we have mv equals lambda v, then we have m mv equals m lambda v, but that's the same as lambda mv, which is the same as lambda times lambda v, which is the same as the same as lambda squared v. Oh, so that implies that, because mm is i, it implies that i v equals v equals lambda squared v, and that implies that lambda squared equals 1, which implies that lambda equals plus or minus 1. That's it.